Here are all the tools I use for this job. I've got a cordless screwdriver with a Phillips number two bit on the end of it. Uh, it's a nice to have. Uh, it makes the job go quicker. I'm going to use it to uh, put the anchor in, anchors in, and uh, the screws. Uh, but I mean, if you don't have one, the, you can use a standard Phillips number two screwdriver, and it will work as well. It just be a, you know, it'll be it'll take longer and be more work. I got a standard or a uh, flathead uh, precision screwdriver. This is, this is a 1 8 uh, inch bit, sorry, 1 8 uh, inch head on it. So you require that to put the uh, uh, locks down on the hardware. Uh, I got a measuring tape uh, just to, you know, make sure I got the holes in the right place when I'm, I'm putting them in the wall. Okay, I'm gonna unbag this uh, towel ring and uh, just to show you all the hardware that comes with it and to make sure that you get what you're supposed to get to mount this correctly because if you're missing parts, you're not gonna be able to do this. So let's rip it open. Now, one thing you need to uh, watch out for and I'll show you this in a second is that there's some very small parts you don't wanna lose. So there we go, I just unpackaged it. So I'll wait with a bag. And uh, this is the item number 3304DB. And uh, it's the Better Home Products Waterfront four, uh, sorry, six collection. And uh, well, here's the kit. Well, we have a towel ring, pretty standard stuff, and the mounting hardware. But as you saw, just running off there, this little screw here, this little uh, uh, screw that came with it, is uh, free and uh, rolling around in the bag. Probably because it was already mounted to the ring, and uh, somehow came off. So this is what's gonna lock it to the wall. So don't lose that little, there we go, there's a better look at it. That little stud that goes into the uh, bottom of the mounting ring. So I'm gonna screw it in there just to, you know, for safekeeping. I won't lose it if I put it in here. Okay, and that's what the eighth uh, inch screwdriver is gonna be for to drive this in there. So I'll just put it in there. There we go. And come back to that later on. So there's your uh, ring. Here's the hardware that comes with it. Two wall anchors and uh, two screws to hold uh, down this plate. And this plate is what's gonna hold that uh, ring to the wall securely. So let's put it in the wall and uh, have at it. Here we are in my bathroom vanity and uh, I'm gonna mount the actual uh, towel ring on this wall, okay? So let me just pan up a little bit there. Now this wall is 22 inches wide, so I've already determined what the center is. And all I have to do is just figure out where I want this to, to go in height. And from what I can determine, that looks like a pretty good height right there. So what I'm doing is I'm just holding, I'm not holding this against the wall. I'm holding this against the wall because the center of it, I'm behind it, is where we want it to be. So I'm just gonna put a little black mark here. That'll be our center. And then we'll go from that. Uh, to mount to marking out the uh, plate now the plates different and, and uh, I'll do a little close-up on it Hopefully it'll focus There we go. There's my plate and if you see the plate you'll see that it has raised edges Okay, those raised edges have to go up and down so and on this plate that means that these holes go up and down as well so when you're centering it up on the wall, don't forget that the raised edges have to go to the top and to the bottom. Otherwise, that ring won't, uh, won't hang right. So let's put that up. Okay, now we're looking at the little mark I made. So we're gonna put it, the plate up on the center. Go, again, the raised edges going up, you know, being on the top and on the bottom. And I just used my marker here to put two more marks pretty well in the center of those, those slots like that and to use as a guide for the anchors so basically the two marks i got one in the center one mark at the center of the top slot and then one mark at the center of the bottom slot now we have three marks and basically we're going to use the top and bottom uh, mark for the uh, wall anchors so we'll go get at that next i'm going to change the angle so you can see what i'm doing on that okay so now we're looking at the wall where the wall anchors are going to go and these are the wall anchors and they're self well I wouldn't call them self-tapping, but sort of they, they sort of are. Uh, but it, you know they're made out of plastic, and you know they may have a tendency to skate on the wall before I put them in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to punch a couple little holes uh, about the size or diameter of those uh, the uh, the leads on those um, anchors to uh, actually um, you know start them off without the, you know so that they won't skate. Okay, and what I'm going to use is my screwdriver 
and I'm probably not using it for the purpose or intended purpose here, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, I don't think it's going to hurt it. And uh, I have the top and bottom uh, marks there. So what I'm going to do is put the screwdriver at the center of the mark and just give it a little punch here. And then make sure that it's wide enough for our anchor. And it is one. We'll do the same at the bottom. Get that on mark again. There we go. And make sure you don't do this with a stud on behind it because if you have a stud behind it, you're going to have a, sp a problem with uh, uh, the anchor because the anchors are made out of plastic. So you want this to go in and just go right through the drywall. It anchors to the drywall. You don't want it anchoring to a stud. Uh, if you have a stud behind it where you want to put the, the uh, anchor, well, I'll just use a screw right into the stud. A drywall screw will probably do just fine. So we're looking at the two guide holes we just punched into the drywall. So we're going to use our uh, self-tapping anchors here. And I'm using my um, cordless, but uh, if you have, if all you have is a screwdriver, just use a screwdriver. It'll work just as well. Okay, and that's pretty well flush with the wall there. And uh, as far as I need to go, I'm gonna do the same with the second one. Uh, you can tighten it up with a screwdriver if you don't feel it's, if you wanna feel how actual tight it is. And that's pretty good. I don't think it needs any more than that. And uh, so we're gonna go with the second one here. Seems pretty solid there. I'll give it a little test to see. Yeah, it doesn't need to be any tighter than that. So, as you can see, pretty well flush to the wall. Uh, nice uh, fit on there. Next, we're going to put the plate up on it, like so. Use the two screws that were supplied. So, we'll get those out now and do that. Yep, going to go in nicely. And so I'm just starting them with my finger. And again, if you got a screwdriver, you use a screwdriver, whatever. Um, we're going in with the cordless here. Okay, I'm not going tight yet because as you can see, it's all over the place. So I'm going to straighten it up, get it as nice and straight as I can, and then uh, tighten it down. Here you can use a screwdriver because with the drill, you're going to get a lot of motion there. So I'm just going to hold it. Try to do this. There we go. There we go. That looks good. Nice and straight. There we go. Right into the... And it anchors really, really well to the wall. So... You know, don't go too crazy because you are screwing into plastic, but understand those anchors are pretty strong. So that's it. There's the uh, actual mounting plate for the uh, towel ring. Next, we've got to get the towel ring on there. And um, so I'll show you the next trick here. Uh, at the bottom of the towel ring, you'll see that there's a little uh, screw there for, uh, you know, basically for mounting it to locking it into that bar. So make sure you back that screw up and then use your 1 8 inch uh, precision screwdriver to tighten that down. So I'll do that next. So we'll get the mounting plate up, no problem at all. Next you'll see that on the ring, on the actual uh, socket that fits on that mounting plate, there's a hook on the top. So that hangs on the top of the uh, ring. I mean, you could go the other way, but then you can see the actual screw on the top. So it's best to go with the uh, lockdown screw on the bottom. So we have the hook on the top. And of course, lock down screw on the bottom. I'm going to use a 1 8 inch uh, precision screwdriver to, to go on that. So make sure you put the hook over the top of this bracket like that. And then uh, use your 1 8 screw, inch screwdriver to 
to uh, drive in the locking nut at the bottom. So we'll do that. There we go. And just screw it all the way in until it's nice and snug. I think that's it. Now test it to see if it's nice and secure by uh, you know moving it, trying to move it a little bit, and it looks really great. You know, so that's it. I'm done with the uh, mounting of the ring. Next, uh, you know, I'll go on to some other hardware. But uh, here's what the ring looks like hanging up, uh, and I'll put the towel on it. What the heck? And that's it. If you don't find it straight or something, you can always uh, uh, take off the. Uh, actual uh, ring again and just shift the bracket in the direction that you want mine and if i look at it i'll change the angle for you here maybe you can see it or not I'm not sure it's a little bit tilted towards the mirror uh, and so in other words it's tilted in that direct towards that direction there so i'm going to take the bracket the, the uh, actual ring off again move the bracket a little bit back a little bit so i get a nice straight hang because uh, it looks a little bit towards the front there so that's the uh, end of this whole installation of the towel ring. And, uh, you know, other than me uh, modifying the uh, bracket a little bit just to get it to fit, you know, nice and straight, um, you know, we're done. All right, there it is hanging nice and straight. I adjusted the little bracket behind with using the two screws that uh, secure it to the wall anchors. And now it's perfect. It's nice and secure. I've tested it and it should give me years of... Uh, uh, life looks looks really good. Thanks. That's it for my video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like this video and it helped you out in some way, do me a favor, click on the like button right down here. And uh, you know, if you wish to subscribe to my channel, just click on this link up here, and that should subscribe you to the the uh, Richard Lloyd channel or Richard Lloyd USA channel. Um, okay. Again, thank you very much for your time and watching.